So tonight we are celebrating 60 years of a show that is close to all of our hearts, especially mine, Blue Peter. People's childhoods, whether you spent hours doing the makes, yes, collecting milk bowl tops, taking part in a bring and buy, or remember watching the likes of Valerie Singleton or John Noakes or any of us 37 Blue Peter presenters. And I'm delighted to say we have five of them here tonight. Please welcome Connie Huck. <laughs> Good to see you all. Thank I you for coming. Sarah so much. You see. <laughs> <laughs> wow. and it got there in the end. Can I just say, as an outsider, do you sign a covenant or a pact or something and you, that you don't age? You look exactly the same. Oh, oh, nice. oh, yeah. 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 So charming. We are part of the same helpful. family, though. We are part of the same yeah. family, yeah. Yeah. and that really just goes on and on and on. No, it's true. It? It it's like a very you. exclusive club to be part of. And my, I, was, I couldn't believe it. I was doing some maths. You left the program 29 years ago. Really? <laughs> but it is the case of once a Blue Peter presenter, always a Blue Peter presenter. Yeah. yeah, and what's amazing is that other people remember everything that you did on the programme. Yes. So when you do an interview or somebody comes up to you, they say, do you remember that time? And honestly, you do forget because we've all done different things. Well, we are going to relive really plenty oh, of no, them tonight. But before scary. we do that, we'd yeah. like to just say a huge congratulations to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan, who today announced they're having a baby next yes. year. Congratulations. Which oh. is lovely. And yes. uh, of course, there's plenty Plenty of links with the royal family of Blue Peter and Sarah. You had your moment with Harry's dad, didn't you? Oh, well, I. What? Darling. No, I got involved with uh, the Mary Rose, the the, the mm -hmm. uh, Henry VIII flagship, bringing up from the bottom yes, uh, of, of the later. Solent, yeah. and um, that was very close to Prince Charles's heart. And so Simon Groom and I were lucky enough to go and have coffee mm -hmm. at his apartments in Kensington Palace. And halfway through the interview, he suddenly said, do you know what, do you fancy a cup of coffee? <laughs> and I said, yeah, that'd be lovely. He said, wait right there, I'll just go and do it. And we looked at each other and thought, no, this isn't for real. <laughs> and in comes a rather out there butler called Alan, who wasn't <laughs> like Jeeves, he was very, OK, where's he gone now? Where's yeah. he gone now? And I said, um, his Royal Highness has gone to make a cup of coffee. When's he going to learn? <laughs> it's me that makes the coffee and him that does the princing. Yes. And that was it. That was we're, Alan. Well, yeah. we're, we're very yeah. proudly wearing our gold blue Peter badges, but uh, yeah. when How the Queen came into the studio... What did you do for that? Oh, oh we asked. it was... Uh, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> but you, give, you give the Queen one. Yeah, yeah. yeah the Queen, you, well, you were there. Yeah. So were you, Colin. Yeah. We're in this long line of... Yeah. Current presenters, ex-presenters, and I, I got asked to give her the gold blue Peter badge. Yeah. What's going on with the sideburns? <laughs> 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 Do you remember the woman who came in before, about half an hour before, she, she goes up to each of us and says, what's your line you're going to say to the Queen? And I said to her, I've got a gag. She says, Queen doesn't yeah. do gags. And she comes back ten minutes later and says, you stick to those words. So I just simply said, Your Majesty, on behalf of the programme, <laughs> I'd like to give the programme's highest awards. A gold blue Peter badge. You might be interested to know you can get into the Tower of London free with it. Yes! <laughs> and she laughed. Yay! Happy day. Happy day. Happy having a right little love in here. You must be feeling pretty uh, uh, left out I here. Am pretty I am. Nice. Nice. Yeah. We've been trolling the archives and we've found some brilliant footage of a great little gymnast. Oh. <laughs> Back in the day, here's a very young Gabby Logan. Uh, Gabby you Young. Now here's Gabby going through a few hoops. Being on the, in the Blue Peter studio, I just thought it was so electric, it was so yeah. exciting, and you were there, Mark. That's incredible. And did you get a Blue Peter badge? I did get a Blue Peter badge. I got a couple actually, because I came on again a few weeks later, and I gave them to two children that I made myself. <laughs> oh. I'm yeah, actually so excited. Well, in true yeah, 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 Blue Peter style. Oh, here we go. Here, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, thank you. But it is actually. 
because they move on. It is actually the old fashioned fashioning. Yes, Isn't oh, that nice? Thank yeah. you. I don't think I should do this because like something terrible might happen. Dress. But anyway, it's over to you. You can pin it on later. But congratulations. There we are. Well, we have got a lot more coming up tonight. But if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself, I've got a connection to Blue Peter, whether you were lucky enough to get a badge yourself or maybe like Gabby, you were doing some rhythmic gymnastics in the studio, send us your story and a picture if you don't mind, and we'll read some out a little bit. I bet there are some great ones going to be sent in. Now, with winter on the way, it's that time of year that all hospital staff dread. Yeah, here's Justin on the small steps that they're taking that could make a big difference in the coming months.